to at least six months of recurrent, intense, sexually arousing fantasies, sexual urges, or behaviors involving sexual activity with a prepubescent child. The individual has either acted on these sexual urges or the sexual urges or fantasies cause marked distress or interpersonal difficulty. Lastly, the individual must be at least age 16 years and at least five years older than the child. So in other words, they're telling you the, the child needs to be 16 and uh, five years older than the child. Would, this would be in that, in that uh, category, basically, of pedophilia. Sexual attraction to peri or post-pubescent minors is not considered a psychiatric disorder, but is illegal. So it's telling you it's not, it's not considered a psychiatric disorder, but then, and this is talking about pedophilia, but then MAPS is a psychiatric disorder, but which is the same. I, coined by Before You at the term minor attracted person refers to individuals with sexual attraction to individuals who are minors or below the legal age of consent, okay? MAP is an umbrella term that includes sexual attraction to prepubescent individuals, but also includes sexual attraction to peri and postpubescent individuals. Okay. So, <laughs> Okay, post post uh, uh, puberty, post puberty and and pre puberty. I mean, but it's all the same. If it's a child, it's a child. But am I confused or something, or am I reading this wrong? <laughs> okay, so this is the difference between pedophilia and minor attractive persons. Okay, sexual attraction to prepubescent individuals. That's pedophilia. Minor attractive persons is sexual attraction to individuals under the legal age of consent. Is that not the same? The same old thing. Okay. <clears throat> it says comment under pedophilia. It says consider the psychiatric disorder if the individual has acted on the attraction and, at, and or has experienced distress related to the interest. Okay. Minor attractive persons, the comment says, may be a psychiatric disorder if pedophilia is with acting on and or distress. So I, I don't really see the difference in between the two. I mean, it, to me, it's all child, it's all pedophilia, but they're trying to make this a thing where it's in di a disorder and they're trying to group it with the LBGTQ plus community. Okay. Um, it says it is important, it is important, Important to keep in mind that the terms pedophilia and minor attractive attraction are not synonymous with childhood sexual abuser or child molester because neither term specifies whether the individual has had sexual contact with a child or legal consequences. The terms offending, non-offending, and acting are used to specify the presence of sexual contact with a child and do not convey any clinical information. In some studies, 1% to 4% of the general population were thought to have persistent attraction to prepubescent children. In a community sample of 8,718 German men, 4.1% reported sexual fantasies involving prepubescent children. 3.2% reported sexual offending against prepubescent children. And 0.1% reported a pedophilic sexual preference. In a study of 367 adult German men surveyed from community, 15.5% reported fantasy, 9.5% daydream, and 6.0% masturbation fantasy involving prepubescent children. That is sick. That's fucking sick. Um, so, it, I mean, it just goes on and on about, you know, uh, uh, what their thoughts are and how they say that um, um pretty much they're 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 misunderstood they want us to understand that as if they're a new uh as if it's a new disorder or a term or whatever but they're just fucking they're pedophiles that's it 
That's it. It's just basically giving a pass to be a pedophile. Mm-hmm. In other words. So. It's another term meaning the same damn on. thing. Yep. Let me go on because this is what I looked up and I looked up. What is uh, minor attractive persons, law abiding, um, or law adding to them? To the LBGTQ plus community or whatever. L- LGC, I knew it was backwards. LGBTQ. See, I knew I was wrong. You were saying LGBTQ. LB. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. it don't sound right saying it the other way. Uh, it, it don't. See, I ain't know. I, okay, so, well, this is what um, I pulled up after that, right? I pulled up um, what they were saying about it because it says pedophilia, the unwanted gate crasher of the LGBTQ community, right? So this is what it said here. Okay. It says, as Pride 2018 wrapped up, it brought forth an era of the sexual revolution Revolution with debates regarding cross-generational sexual relations, a phrase to rebrand pedophilia. The word alone leaves you with a heavy thinking feeling in your stomach and for good reason too. Pedophilia is a psychiatric disorder where a person is sexually attracted to prepubescent children. One of the foremost contemporary sexual taboos has been both condemned by law and fetishized in the media as immortalization, immortalized in Lolita. Sexual scandals <clears throat> involving minors such as Jeffrey Epstein fiasco has led to massive public uproar prompting laws against sexual abuse to be strengthened worldwide. By examining the past of every such case, a more complex and sinister plot of cover-ups, blatant ignorance, and malevolence can be seen. First, pedophiles started making themselves publicly known and attempted to set up special interest organizations. Other groups, particularly in the LGBTQ community, strongly opposed any solidarity between the two cultures. Next, a a variant of the iconic pride flag bearing colored stripes was created to represent pedophiles as pedosexual, similar to any other orientation. This feeble, insidious attempt to normalize pedophilia received heavy backlash and was considered to be an act of defamation against the LGBTQ community. The debate, the debacle led to photos of the flag being shared on the social media platforms with a warning that read, minors beware. If you see this flag on someone's profile, block them immediately. This flag is for a minor attracted person, Matt, AKA pedophile. They are not LGBTQ and are not welcome to the community. Period. Okay, who? <laughs> well, in other words, the, the LGBTQ plus community is not fucking having it. They don't want them as a part of their um, their community. And I don't blame them because this is just like a fine way to introduce pedophiles into the community and just be okay with it. It's fucking sick, bro. Like, period. Period, cool. So, LB, LGBTQ groups widely denounce the pedosexual flag. What's been gaining traction of late is not only the magnitude of the insult to the LGBTQ community, but also the instant intense disgust and moral righteous, righteousness it incited. With debates swinging towards the conclusion that minors must be protected in earnest online and everywhere. In 1993 to 1994, the International Lesbian and Gay Association, ILGA, lost its observer status because U.S. conservative groups publicized the membership of two pedophile groups within it. The slow and shaky decline of the pro-pedophilia agenda had begun. Pedophiles shared a foot hardly concept that the inclusion of P- in LGBTQ synonymous with sexual liberation will follow a trajectory consisting of several steps like any other fight for LGBTQ rights. Online social accounts bearing the 
heavily ridiculed flag were reported and taken down. Interest groups for maps were dissolved and any pedosexual, any pedosexual who even tried to take a pro-pedophilia stance was shunned publicly. This was a clear message for pedophiles from the otherwise inclusive LGBTQIA plus community. <laughs> you are not welcome here. This devious, dangerous movement that tried to jump on the bandwagon of LGBT rights collapsed in its entirety online. It only served to shed some long overdue light on an outdated culture so thickly tinted with sadism and abuse. Sadism, I would definitely agree with. This is this is um sadistic. Okay. Um so that's what I was reading about this um, whole whole thing. I just started looking up the definition of pedophile and map because I wanted to see the difference because there is no difference really at all. I mean, it's no difference. This is what it says about minor attractive persons, right? It says refers to individuals with sexual attraction to in individuals who are minors or below the legal age of consent. That's what it says for map, minor attractive person. Okay, so yeah, it's literally just a pedophile, a pedophile. That's it. That's it. Yeah, it's a, um. So the definition is the same though for pedophile, because a pedophile is someone who's attracted to a minor, underage child, who's either done some things on that level with that child, or just they're attracted to them. It's the same difference, same damn difference. Okay, so this is the definition of a pedophile, a person who is sexually attracted to children, okay? An adult who is sexually attracted to young children. Sexual perversion in which children are the preferred sexual object, specifically a psychiatric disorder in which an adult has sexual fantasies about or engages in sexual acts with a prepubescent child. How is that any different? <laughs> than a minor, than a max person, than a minor attractive person. The same definition, literally. So the last little segment we about to go into because um, with the plainest Jane, where she talks about um, the max minor attractive persons, and she speaks on a, a clinical um, psychologist speaking on what they're trying to do with the max um, community and how they're trying to add them into the LGBTQ plus community. So um, let's jump into this video uh, with the plaintiff's Jane. Are they even not infiltrating the LGBT community? Are they everywhere? Yeah, pedophiles will infiltrate any group that'll make it easier for them. But in this instance, the things that are jumping off of the page for me, when I'm in the news and the media and the blogs and the physical newspapers, this is a pattern that I see. And who am I to be silent about it? Because there are some people that feel like, oh, I feel like, you know, you're mislabeling me. I feel like you're calling me a pedophile. I've never called anybody that is a part of the LGBT community a pedophile unless I've seen that they harm or abuse or sexualize children. All right. So with all that being said, Let's go ahead and get into the video. Come on, get onto the bus. Hit thumbs up. Happy Friday night. We got two shows lined up for you today. Y'all still haven't gotten to it because I'm just trying to over explain. <laughs> and this is this is about the seventh installment of this theory that this isn't about people in the LGBT community just trying to survive and live in their everyday life who don't harm children. So let's get into this. Okay. Again, she's a, lic a licensed sex therapist at the Pennsylvania Department of Corrections. And she did this video coddling, trying to get us to empathize with pedophiles. Let's get started. Folks, my name is Miranda. I use she, her pronouns, and I'm a licensed professional counselor and sex therapist in Erie, Pennsylvania. And today I want to talk about minor attractive persons. And I want to talk about minor attractive persons because they are probably the most vilified population of folks in our culture. And most folks are making incorrect assumptions about them without actually knowing much about them. And those assumptions create harm for an already marginalized population. 
you may have noticed that I'm using the term minor attracted persons, sometimes abbreviated to MEPs, instead of the more commonly used term pedophile. And I'm doing this because the term pedophile has moved from being a diagnostic label to being a judgmental, hurtful insult that we hurl at people in order to harm them or slam them. I also prefer person-first language that recognizes that any label we might apply to a person is only part of who they are and doesn't represent everything that they are. We are all people first with many different facets or parts of ourselves, and this includes folks who are attracted to minors. So to start with, let's talk about what a minor attracted person is or who they are. This term simply means that the person has an enduring sexual or romantic attraction to minors. They've not chosen this attraction, just as the rest of us have not chosen whatever our attraction is. You don't get to choose to be heterosexual or to be gay or, or whatever you are. And you don't get to choose to be a minor attracted person. Some minor attracted persons are attracted to a specific age range of minors, while some are not. And some minor attracted persons are exclusively attracted to minors and are not attracted to adults at all. Some minor attracted persons are also attracted to adults. Okay? So did you hear her really in her nice, soft voice attempting to normalize people who are attracted to children, trying to coddle them, trying to make them feel like less of a filthy outcast, which is exactly what they are. They're disgusting, disgusting, <laughs> right? Now, what the hell do we got to say about the minor attractive? <laughs> Girl, Lord, <laughs> it ain't no different than a fucking, you're just a pedophile. You're just a pedophile. I'm going to admit to their, <clears throat> their sickness or whatever you want to call it. I don't even know what to call it. Yeah. Honestly, I to say it like I don't call it. I mean, I, I don't know. I guess I'm a little biased because I don't really understand it all the way. I mean, I understand, like, when I talk about it, I get, I'm upset about it more so than coming from a logical standpoint. I'm coming from emotional. So it's hard for me to speak about it just because I just don't understand how you could be a certain way towards kids children or look at them a certain way. I just don't get that. Um, I never will. But them changing the name and trying to make it sound a little better because that's really what it is. It's just about how easier, I mean, how much more you can take to your ears. More clinically sounds pleasant on the ear. Mm -hmm. Max. Minor attractive person. Yeah. That just, I don't even, even that. Minor attractive person. Like, an attractive yeah, right there, I'm like, soon you hear minor. Yeah, right. <laughs> right there. But so. the fact that um, Night and Day Network brought that up in their in their video, I wanted to talk about that, and I've been wanting to talk about this for a little minute because you have. I've seen that. Yeah, on, you've been on bringing it for a long time. And I did want to, uh, you know, I asked her could I share a video and stuff like that, and she said it was cool. I understand, yeah. Um, because she wants this to be more talked about. And it does. It needs to get the same type of um, attraction that. Um, the yeah. Tiffany Haddish and Ari Spears got because it is something coming. Well, it's here, but it is something that they're going to push forward. Uh, people need to be more aware and informed. Yeah, it's something that um, that <laughs> can take kids. place or is trying to jump into the, um, they're trying to push it. And this is what I mean by like when these celebrities do certain things or certain things are publicized, they're just trying to. Um, they're used as an example. Yeah, like as a like tool to they're trying to push um because the they know <clears throat> these, these these people behind the industry know that the people where we're over top they know that um they have a big influence mm -hmm. on the community and on everybody who kind of looks up to her. I mean, look and at Beyonce, is... she's got a damn church. Look at Kanye West, he got a damn church, and these people is like killing themselves for I mean, the girl that killed herself at Beyonce's church. Oh, yeah, yeah that was in the parking lot. No, they don't talk about this enough. But because they know that people are so like worshiping on the bandwagon, on the bandwagon, want to jump on with these celebrities, want to be known, 
They're that's, willing. To that's why it. I never was with the whole like people be um they have their own little I don't even know if I want to say gang, but it's like their own little uh cult of followers. And they and then when they started to sign names, see when we was coming up, you 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 just like the individual, like you're like, Oh, I like their music and this and that. Right. You didn't even say I'm a fan. No, you we didn't, didn't, say, we that. didn't say that. You just was like, you like the um, you like such as album, you like such such music. Like we didn't do all that. Now, I remember yeah. growing up, we had our little thing. I remember we was young and we would have the little we call us I call them swish wish the little swish wish. I, I don't know what the hell they even call it. Like the little tinsels <laughs> that would like every time yeah. you walk, you're like shh, 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 shh. Uh-huh. <laughs> Yo, we called them swish wish, but like we put up the one leg. It had the other pit mm-hmm. laid down and shit because we wanted to be like, you know, like Even when I was a cheerleader, we did that. But you know, like that's just us admiring shit. Right. Like, we wasn't like, oh yeah, I'm about worshiping to go. and dying for them and you know, people with find die for them. Them. Going from. No. We understood that we didn't really know them. See, now people have so much access, or they think they have access, I should say, to the point where they feel like I know them. No, no, they would never do that. Or she yeah. would never say this or do that. And it's like, you don't know them from a... From a can of damn thing, baby. Uh, you don't know them. Like, stop it. Listen. And that's the time. thing. People put more time into that than into making themselves better. Into, into making their kids safe and into, you know, making the community better. Um, they, they put more time into worshiping a celebrity and worrying about Tiffany and them or whoever. <laughs> What are you what doing are you? to lip? No. How would I do? <laughs> I like you was kissing the camera. I know what you were doing. Oh, you was like checking out your lip gloss. I know I'd be like looking crazy. I'd be looking a little ash. But I was pulling up <laughs> over to the screen. No, I just be talking about the color. You know, because the color is a little off. But yeah, no, I wanted to bring that shit up because this is like. I mean, it was a good topic. I think this is a good video. I think it's informative. I think it's factual. Like, there's some facts in there, some good facts in there. So yeah. people need to pay attention. I mean, like, what? I don't know. Like, what can we do? As I need to know what the. I need to know what the limitations are going to be. I need to know are there going to be some laws put in place? Like, what, what, what all is expected here? Because on the legal end, if I have a child, the flags up down the street. You know what I'm saying? And my child plays. I don't know. Uh, she he or she races down the street. And then, you know, here comes the gap coming out. What is, it, is it gap? Here comes what the mat, people. Mat. Here comes the mat coming out. Sorry, gap. <laughs> but here comes the mat coming outside. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, I, 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 you know I see an interaction I don't like. You know what I'm saying? And now, you know, pow, pow. So I'm just saying, you know, so what happens? Well, you know what? You yeah. know, because they got their flag up, they safe. Is it? Is it going to be like how when you put the white flag up? Like what? Well, I'm saying where the lines be, now that they're trying to put them with the LB with the LBGTQ plus community mm-hmm. or whatever. I'm sorry, y'all, if I'm saying it wrong. I, don't know. I really don't. But yeah, now that they're trying to put it with them, it's yeah. like you know you can't you you'll go to jail for like harassing someone who's gay or or what do you say lesbian gay or like almost like um hate crime now right mm-hmm. so will people go to jail for a hate crime against maps now because they're grouping them in with the lbgtq plus community or like how will this play out like i just i don't know i don't know it's gonna be, um it's gonna be a challenge for sure because yeah. um you know coming up when we were coming up they're letting everything pass now they, they are letting everything pass but when we were coming up there were people who did commit hate crimes towards mainly, but at the time it was just gays, mm-hmm. right? And, you know, it was making national headlines because people were getting brutally murdered just, mm-hmm. just because they was gay. So I understand the LGBT community, LGBTQ plus community having certain laws in place to protect yeah. them. Yeah. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So I, I get that fact. But when it comes down to people having a bit of an obsession or attraction or however you want to put it towards kids. I'm like, there, that, there needs to be a line drawn pushing. because, be, because, you know, just like a sex offender, like they're supposed to register, right? right? You're supposed to know where they're at. So 
am I going to be able to, am I going to have access to the information of where the map is there. to? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because the flag, exactly. everybody ain't going to put that flag up. Exactly. Everybody ain't going to have a flag because everybody ain't going to want to be known. Yeah, they, they're, they're not, they, their mind doesn't work publicly. like, hey, look at me. I, I'm publicly, a, you know, I'm uh, a designer. Nah. You know, it says they're publicly like, 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 you know, they're getting that backlash, of course. And it, as they, as they should. Started. You mm-hmm. know, but um, so yeah, I, I don't think they're going to be like well a well known community. I mean, uh, well, they're trying to push it like that, but yeah, they're trying know, to put them with the LGBT. They're trying to. Mix I mean, but this is crazy. the thing: if we're allowing this, are we going to allow murderers, killers, uh, shit, all types Rapist. of crimes? You might as well just if, if we allowing this, you might as well just let everything fucking be like uh, a purge. Yeah, we're getting, we're getting there. Mm-hmm. We're getting there. Like mm-hmm. um, lawless land. That's what I feel like we're getting to. No, so y'all tell us what y'all think down in the comments below. Uh, what y'all think about this crazy ass topic? I mean, this is crazy. All I'm gonna say is it's crazy. I never even really knew it, <laughs> heard of it up until like this <laughs> look. Year. All I'm gonna say is strap <laughs> up. <laughs> if you know what I'm saying, because well, yeah, you know what? You got kids. <laughs> We got laws for that too now, where it's like, uh, you know, uh, the gun laws. Like, hey, I mean, so I guess, uh, I guess, <laughs> I guess what? That's the next push. I mean, so I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't. I mean, but every election know. year they push for the. They're trying to push the gun laws out. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I'm saying. Like, mm-hmm. I mean, I'm not. I'm not saying everybody deserves to pow pow. You know what I'm but I'm saying like. She- uh, <laughs> ask me about it. See what I <laughs> when they, you know, just get into the gun laws. If they push that to be uh, for us not to have the guns or not have not to be able to have them or not to carry or whatever, which you know I ain't even with. Let's just get that straight. But um, if they do get that, and then you have these maps walking around and all this stuff going on, <laughs> it's gonna come down. To, yeah, I got like these maps. But um, you know what's gonna happen is. People are going to go to, I guess, knives, the next the next weapon. The next um, shit, it is what it is. It's gonna come down to that because again, at the end of the day, they're gonna people gonna protect their kids. Hell yeah. They're gonna protect their kids at all costs. And uh it's just a shame though, because I feel like the kids are neglected in the sense they're making yeah. all these decisions with the cartoons, with the televisions, with the sexualities. Yeah. And I feel like the kids aren't given a chance to to be a kid. They're not given a chance to really live out and see who they really are or what they really like. I don't know. It's a lot getting pushed on them at one time. Yeah, I'll tell you what. It's a lot. I don't like any of this shit, but I'll tell you what. I got three. Let me tell you what. Sally waiting. <laughs> okay. All right. So, um, <laughs> I don't have any, but I got a lot of questions. And, I prefer. You know. I definitely do that. <laughs> Don't ever, uh, I've been <laughs> never hearing no shit about shit about motherfucking shit about a like motherfucker. who the map down the street. Look, that's how right. it's gonna be the map down the street. <laughs> yeah, map. All right, all right, map. S i j a y e is gonna go see that M a p s. Okay, listen, we not about to have that shit around my. I'm sorry, I'm not. No, no, not doing it. Um, I don't give a fuck. I think uh, that uh, when, yeah, when, when a lot of this is going that's a, that's on, it's a hard situation. Yeah, it is. It's difficult. It's cha- It's going to be challenge- mm-hmm. challenging. But uh, I just think that if you do associate yourself with that or you end up um, a part of that community or whatever, because see, it's hard to call the community because they're trying to add them in with the LGBTQ. So I don't even know what to, what it to ain't say. Because I feel like the maps <laughs> should be separated from them. Yeah, because with the maps, together. with the maps, I feel like it's more psychological. Mm-hmm. Not to say some LGBTQs don't have some psychological stuff too. It's just the fact that with the maps, I feel like that extreme. Yeah, like with the maps, I feel like it, it is. It's like an it's it's a, it's an attraction that they because obviously you shouldn't have. It's something that you shouldn't be attracted to, right? Yeah. And then she got the nerve to say you can't help what you're attracted to. I understand all that, right? But when it comes to like kids, what the fuck, bro? And anybody's yeah, grown ass, help. right ass mind. Yeah, you can help. I'm gonna be looking at a child for it. Like that's you can really definitely help that. There's, There's no way I'm looking at a little boy. 
There's no way. There's no way. My eyes don't even turn to a little boy. If anything, the only time I look at kids is like when they cross in the street or safe wise, protection wise, but never yeah, in a look more in a protective way. Yeah, not, not in, in no a, attraction. Ooh, I you know, in the world. Too. The fuck you gonna do for me, young boy? <laughs> 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 young boy. <laughs> I Listen, can't. I got time. Hey yo, hey yo, young boy. Come here. <laughs> young boy. Hey yo. They're like, what what type of conversation can we have, yo, bro? Listen, it'll be a a a, a mommy son a, a, a sister a big sister little brother yo bro like i don't i just couldn't see, i don't understand it i don't, yeah, understand, I don't understand, it. It. I don't understand where the fuck are uh it's sad because a lot of them the is going to, but it's exactly like, right. but you know what's sad about it is because a lot of people a lot of it comes from their past mm -hmm. um and don't again it, exactly so it, it comes from that, but see, when they don't, when you don't get help, then you start having that obsessive side. Mm -hmm. You know, I can't help this. I'm just attracted. I'm. It's like being That's hungry. I'm hungry. I, I need to. Like, I need to. I need to get to one. I need to see one. I need to be around one. I need to feel one. You know, same feeling you get with all your other basic necessities. I think they go through that it, same yeah, feeling. It's the heightening. It. Uh, that dopamine. Um. Who was it? Uh, what about what one was it that got um? Arrested? Did he die in jail? What's his uh? What was his name? He they did uh 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 um uh, the Disney Disney World or Disney Disney show? Oh, the one guy, a uh, little boy. I mean, the the young guy that um that came out about everything. Corey? No, no. Who's Corey? I thought his name was Corey. That's the white actor. Yeah, he. I think it was the young boy. He's he was white I and. Uh, about him, but yeah, he did come. I he came out and he was done with a lot of psych issues because of that. Okay, yeah, that was a video I was working on, but I I'm gonna get back to that video. Yeah, I wanted to do a video on um, like scandalous situations or mm -hmm. or or weird uh deaths that happen in the industry or whatever. And uh, Roach from what was it Friday after? Oh, uh, from next Friday. Yeah. He was one of the people I wanted to do because his death was like crazy, bro. But like he just he was found hung in um a hotel room and he wrote a um he wrote a, a suicide letter. letter. But nobody knows what the suicide letter said, like besides his wife or whatever, because he left it to her. But and I guess I, I think he he wrote in it not to ever show anybody. I guess it was just for her, but she never put it out. But um basically, is it Harvey, it was it Harvey Weinstein. What's the other one that's in cahoots with him? I cannot think of the guy's name. <sighs> they did that movie called, I think it was Kids, back when they were kids, right? Uh, Something. I was ready to say, oh, great, man. Um, what's the name? Who the fuck was it? Harvey Weinstein or one of them? I don't know. They brought the um the publishing to this this movie, so that was even back way back then. This movie came out in like nineteen ninety. Oh, the them kid, you told me about that. Yeah. So like, this is what I mean. Like, they're they always been in the industry. It's been around. Yeah, it's been going on. It's been a thing. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna do a video on on that next time because this one's getting so lengthy, but. Yeah, um, we gonna end it out, y'all. This is what we're gonna end the video, but tell us what y'all think down in the comments. Um, and keep a watch out for that because I'm gonna <laughs> do a video on um oh, I can't take it. What <laughs> I got problems. <laughs> huh? What did I say? What? Oh no, it ain't you. <laughs> oh that's what he said. What it's I do? Oh that's his phone. Okay, yo, so you say? we gonna um close out this video. What are you doing? Shit. Okay, whatever. Yeah, we this video, y'all. So, um, thanks for tuning in. Watch, <laughs> watch out for our um live videos because we're gonna start doing lives. Yes, yeah, so coming today. soon. Um, oh, let me go there. I'll be a little bit more put together. Candlelit Saturdays <laughs> with Monet and Sai J. So I have fun. We coming with you. We, we yeah, turn up. It's gonna be a Saturday, so. 
So right now we're just doing the little recording videos, but no, we about to come through with the live though. So y'all need to tune in with us. Oh, and I wanted to say thank you all because we hit a little um yeah, thank we hit you a little peak. We hit a little our 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 first uh what do you call it? Milestone. Uh, milestone. There we go. Mm -hmm. We heard our first little milestone. We got 107 subscribers. So thank you to all thank the loyal so subscribers <laughs> and viewers and listeners and watchers. Keep helping us grow, share our shit, like our video and all that. If <laughs> you don't like the like shit, but like this video. If y'all like the content, I mean, it's just that simple. If you like it, you like it. So just like it. Don't be a hater. You know what I'm saying? Then that helps us and know what y'all like and don't like. You and I want y'all to understand, like, we're, we're, our goal is to be informed, like, to inform everybody of what we come across. Uh -huh. But, you know, we, we try to... We try to mix and match like the the gossiping and all that, but we try to bring more of the factual information. Real shit. And you know, have good resources and everything as much as we can because ultimately everybody can sit around and just gossip about the same thing all day. You know what I mean? You hearsay, but mm -hmm. you start bringing up factual information, it definitely gives you more of a clear context. So just understand that's our main goal. And we really just want to bring the real shit to y'all. Mm -hmm. okay. We want the real shit. We want the real <laughs> shit. No water down shit. We want the real, real. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, let us know what y'all like. Let us know what y'all want to hear about. Um, Drop some topics for us so that maybe we can know uh, what else we want to talk about or whatever. We got a couple videos we want to do coming up. But, yeah, stay tuned with us because we're going to be... Um, went scandalous Saturdays with Monet and Cy J mm -hmm. live on Saturdays uh, coming to a TV near you real soon. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right, y'all, we out this joint. Like the video, subscribe, share with y'all um, family, friends, or whatever. And yeah. Uh, oh, and if y'all want to drop some change, hey. <laughs> um, I mean, the cash app is down in the on um, description box, or whatever. and it's more like you know, like the about us page or whatever. But you know, y'all ain't got to join twins. Y'all ain't got to spend nothing. You know what I'm saying? We we just right. like you want to, but if you want to help out, and you don't want to spend nothing. Just like the video. You know what I'm saying? All right, y'all. Yeah, it's been real. Cy J, Monet. Monet. We out. Peace. All right. Let's run our little outro. All right. Cut up, cut up, a bitch, shut up. Okay. Yeah, we really, really act a fool with it. Bring the girls out that be shaking that ass. Uh -huh. Spin the bring the niggas out that be spinning that cash. Ching. Call a friend, pull up. Yeah, we all at the club. We yeah. going up all night and we don't get no fuck. Say, ooh, ah, let me see what you got. Ooh, ah, baby, give me my cops. I say, ooh, ah, and then they calling the cops. But let that bitch burn, cause I ain't done yet. I spit fire on the track, make the lace wet, cause I'm a hot boy. I'm a bit great, love getting money, call it rich sex, and I'm a good look, and you upset. Bye, y'all. <laughs>